What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about changes coming to Battlefield 2042 in the next couple updates. There's been a lot of things going on in the game as of late. Uh, DICE has already stated that all of the team pretty much is still working on the game, which I think was a good sign considering not long ago, a few weeks back, they said they're already working on the next Battlefield title, which left a lot of Battlefield fans like myself thinking, well, I guess we'll have to go back and play you know, some older Battlefield games because 2042 is still really broken. Well, the most recent update we got, which was 4.0, had over 400 changes in the game, which did help out a good bit. Now, is it going to bring all the player base back? Definitely not. But they're talking about some more changes in the future, things like the way the maps flow, the way the game plays in general, changing things like that. But one of the biggest changes that have been being discussed from DICE is changes with specialists. Now, specialists are not very popular in uh, Battlefield. To me, it really leaves no uh, room for class identity whatsoever. Uh, with all the different specialists we have available, you pretty much can run, you know, anything on any of the characters. You know, there's not really a dedicated, per se, medic or support character. Or er everything feels like it's kind of, you know, gimmicky almost. You know, you have some gadgets on each character that's okay. But for the most part, you know, if you want to run a rocket launcher on, on any character to take down, you know, tanks or something like that, you can do that. And in my opinion, uh, DICE really should have left the class system like it was and if they want to do some kind of specialist system they really should have had a dedicated item for each uh you know particular class so they could have had a dedicated you know kind of neat unique cool item for the medic class for the engineer class for the support class for the recon class and kind of left the specialist idea out of it uh the, or at least the way they did it in my opinion overall i think the changes they're looking at to kind of make specialists you know a little bit more unique in game will probably be good. They're also talking about taking out and changing some of those voice lines at the end. At the end of the match, those are very annoying. They're looking to change those as well. But some of the data miners as of late have been finding things uh, kind of referring to class selection, progression, you know, different descriptions for combat medics, uh, which are things we have seen in the past, like in Battlefield 5. So it looks like DICE is looking to maybe not completely get rid of the specialists because they've already said they don't want to get rid of the idea but they are looking to make changes to it. So maybe they're going to go more in line with their original kind of class selection. Maybe they're going to break up these uh, different characters, different specialists into, you know, your recons, your supports, your uh, medics, uh, your engineers, and then allow them to have maybe something that is unique to their individual character that makes them, you know, kind of that specialist idea, but at the same time having a, more of a traditional kind of class look to them as you have seen in past Battlefield games. DICE has not given us tons of details about this yet, but they said they are looking to change the way that specialists work because they understand the community does not like them. I think their best solution would probably have been to just get rid of them, scrap the idea and try something else with it, but I, we know they're not going to do that. But it looks like at least they are listening and hopefully we're going to get some type of change that will make the specialist, uh, you know, a little bit more tolerable for most of the community. And like I said, I don't think all these changes will get everyone back into playing the game, but I do think these changes are a good sign for what DICE is trying to do for the community, trying to show them that they are still working on the game and still dedicated to making a good Battlefield game. And like I said in the past, it's kind of like some of the older games we've seen uh, from DICE. It takes almost a year for some of these games to actually work correctly and become pretty decent. Will 2042 become a good of a game as Battlefield 4? I highly doubt it. But could it become a good game? It definitely can. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about the specialist and the changes that DICE is talking about making. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.